Hello there ladies and gentlemen. Today I wanted to test which screen recorder would be the best for me to use to record video game footage. Uh, I came up with four to test. Camtasia, Bandicam, OBS Studio and ScreenRec. Of the four, ScreenRec is the newest one that I did not know about. After doing a search on the internet, this was one that was kind of given as a free, like OBS, which is better, OBS or ScreenRec. So I thought, okay, I'll test these two out. And I already owned a license for Bandicam, which is a paid product. And Camtasia is also a paid product. So two free versus two paid for, which is the best, especially for recording video video games. Now, I won't keep you too much, I'll get straight into it. I'm gonna play around about 30 seconds of Resident Evil 2 using each, and then we'll go over the end conclusion. Enjoy. Okay. The recording using Camtasia's screen overlay. Play for about 30 seconds. Oops. Seems unchanged. So let's move on to the next. Uh, okay. So now we're using the Bandicam. And you should be able to see the FPS in the corner, but I've actually chose to record at 30 frames per second. I should have been shooting this guy weirdly this time. I don't know what happened last time, I was holding the wrong buttons. Uh, everything seems fine so far. No slowdowns. Okay. okay, moving on to the next recorder. So this is the OBS test. A little trouble with this software because I wanted to have separate audio than the video. But everything's fine now and up for the recording well. Yeah, it seems to be recording. Okay. Okay, so the next a retest of OBS. I have changed the settings to 10,000 data rate. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. So the data rate's been set to 10,000. I will get a screenshot and put it in here just now. And uh, there you go. Okay, now is the screen record recording software called Screen Rec. This one has a strange overlay on the screen. I don't know if it's recording that at the same time. This one had the least customization for it, but it seems to be running just as smoothly as the rest. So very little options for screen rec as you can see. I also done a re-recording of this because it didn't record the game's audio previously. I had to switch it on. That's right, I didn't switch it on. So I'm giving this a second attempt here. But yeah, the uh, overlays on the screen can be removed. Finally, on to the conclusion. 
After analyzing all four screen recorders, we can see that screen rec is a little bit grainy in parts and also there's very little in the way of customization. You cannot change what the byte rate is, you cannot change what the audio byte rate is. Um, so there's not much you can do with that. It's good if you need a low quality recorder and you just want to stick videos straight onto YouTube. But there is the overlay that will always stay on the screen. Uh, Camtasia of the four probably came in at third place because there was a lot of lagginess and jerkiness during the gameplay. So between Bandicam and OBS Studio, which one would I choose? Well, Bandicam did look very good. Uh, OBS Studios also looked very good after I changed the settings. So that's one thing to remember, make sure the settings are in order. Bandicam can be the same. You may need to adjust the settings to get the correct video quality. Also, if frame rate's something that you like, Bandicam and OBS both support 60 frames per second. Camtasia doesn't. It recorded at 30 frames per second. I couldn't change that. and I can't change it when I export the video to a file. 30 is the maximum. Well, I hope this helps you choosing which screen recorder you would choose. I think from now on I'm going to choose Bandicam. It's quick and it's easy. Uh, but I hope this video helped you. Like I say, as always, thank you very much for watching. Bye.